Hello everyone, today we are going to develop a password strength checker with the help of machine learning. So basically the libraries that we are going to use are pandas, numpy and scikit-learn, right? So let's start importing them one by one. The first library is pandas. So let's import pandas as pd. The second library that we are going to use is numpy. So let's import numpy as np. After that, we are also going to use kit learn uh, features such as count vectorizer, tfidf vectorizer, and train test split. So let me bring them one by one, right? So let's put on a new cell and let's write here from sklearn dot feature underscore extraction, right? Dot text import. count vectorizer so we have this the second one that we want is tf idf vectorizer so let's write tf idf where did it go tf idf vectorizer so vectorizer oh, let me get away vectorizer okay so these are the first two let's run this and let's go forward and the next thing that we are going to need is the train test split so if you know skitlearn you do know that it is available in model selection part right so from sklearn dot model underscore selection import train underscore test underscore split now let's move forward right the next thing that we need is a classifier so the classifier that i am going to use is uh, random forest right so let's write sklearn dot ensemble import random forest so this is the classifier that i'm going to use to see if my password is good enough or not right if the password is you know weak or it is uh, heavy or not right so the next thing that i'm going to need is the data so data is available in the same folder right so for that i'm going to write pd dot read underscore csv and after that i am going to write data one dot csv right and after that i am going to write error bad lines is equal to false so is equal to false so let's go forward what is the next step the next step is actually to show you the data so for that i am going to print out the head of the data right so data dot head so this is it this is the head we can also print out the tail of the data by writing print data dot tail so this is the tail of the data right as you can see there are a lot of passwords and strengths that are an n as well right so we can just drop those parts from our uh, you know data set so that uh, we can uh, you know train it on a good and on a good data set right and what is the next thing the next thing is i want to add uh, you know strength in the form of weak medium and strong right so let me do that so i'll say that zero is weak one is medium and two is also available here in the data set that is strong so let me write data strength is equal to data and after that strength 
dot map and in this I am going to give a dictionary in which I'll have in which I'll have three options so for zero we want to exchange it with week right and other than that we want to exchange one with medium so let me write medium here and at last we want to exchange two with strong so let's run this okay so this is it and now we can uh, you know uh, see the data again if we want to so let me show you so as you can see these were all ones so this is all medium now right so what is the next step the next step is uh, let's make a function in which we have all the characters that are available in the password right so let's write define word let's say that the name of the function is word and the input is password right so in the start we will have an empty array as the character right and for i in password we will have character dot append okay and here i'll have i and after that i'll write return character so let's make that and now let's move forward so the next step is actually to make an np array right and uh, let's write that in this we will have data password and in y what we are going to put is we are going to put the data strength so let's move forward the next step is to make the tfidf vectorizer so for that i'm going to write tfidf is equal to tfidf vectorizer so we are going to pass our you know the words through here right so tokenizer is equal to word right here and after that what i am going to do is i am going to make the transformation through this tfidf so x is equal to tfidf dot fit underscore sorry underscore transform and then i am going to write x so let's go now the next step is to do the train test split right so x train comma x test comma y train comma y test is equal to train test split right so i'm going to use kitlin here obviously train underscore test underscore split and here i'm going to write x comma y comma test underscore size is equal to something like 0 0.05 right and random underscore state is equal to 42 so let's run this and let's make the model now so model is dependent upon the random forest so i'm going to write model is equal to random forest uh, forest uh, sorry with a single r right and then i'm going to write classifier so model is equal to random forest classifier and after that we have the model fitting so let's write model dot fit x train comma y train 
and after that what I am going to do is I am going to print out the model score so model dot score and here I am going to write x test comma y test so this is the score that we are getting from our model right so now let's input a you know password so for that i'm going to import the library get pass and let's just say that user is equal to get pass dot get pass and here i'm going to write enter password so enter password right so let's run this and it will ask me to enter a password so i have entered it uh, it is one two three four five as a uh, you know default so i have just used it right so then i am going to write tf id uh, data is equal to t d i f dot transform dot transform right and here i am going to give it two things to it the first one is user sorry in scare brackets the first one is user and then i am going to tell it to shift it to array right and put it into the tfidf factorizer okay so tdif is not defined let me see to that so what is the name the name is tfidf it is not sorry it it is not tdif it it is tfidf right so that is the name that we are using for this specific code right so tfidf dot transform and then i'm going to output it in a very simple way i'm going to write output is equal to model dot predict and in this i'm going to write data right and after that we can just put output right so there we go it is telling us that the uh, you know uh, password that we tried is of medium strength right so in the same way you can use other machine learning methodologies and a lot of other methodologies as well to see multiple type of automations and password cracking and these type of things with the help of python right so this is a senses and if you like to see more videos like that keep watching us and following us on our youtube channel